Hello, 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 Amphrodite here, your pop culture psychic, back to you again with another conspiracy theory reading. This time it's on the long requested, you're finally getting it, Anunnaki reading. So I'm curious as, oh my God, I'm so curious. I'm just like, I can't even, I'm just so excited to do this. I'm curious myself about what, like if they're real. So basically we're gonna look at if the Anunnaki are actually real and if the conspiracy theory is true. So if you're not familiar with the Anunnaki, there is a giant theory that the Anunnaki were the first species that inhabited Earth and that they created humans. There's a belief that um, a lot of religions were based off of them. They're like an alien-like species and they believe that a lot of the scriptures are similar and like the gods or the god that people worship um, are actually the Anunnaki and that they created all religion and stuff like that. So there's a lot of conspiracy theories about that. And so I figured I'd do a reading on it. Now I will say there's also a giant conspiracy that they came here for gold in search of gold. And I have done so many readings on like conspiracy theories and spooky stuff. And I see gold as a major motivator in a lot of things. Um, I'm going to put a link to a few videos here, um, that I think you should watch if you're interested in this. Um, the first one, Proof Simulation Theory is Real. It talks about when I got high and I saw like gods and things like that and how the universe was created. There's another video I want you to see, which is like the Sasquatch reading because I think that might, that like talks about gold. And then there's just a ton of others. You can go through and I'm sure you can see a ton that you'd like. Uh, so remember these readings are all legend from tapers only and let's go ahead and get started. Remember, if you like these, you can always join me to memberships as a $5, $10, $15 tier. We had access to exclusive pick a card, story times, and community reading for me. Okay, so first things first, let's see if the Anunnaki was real. Ooh, I was not expecting a first pull moon. Oh, and the sun? They weren't real. Okay, video's over. No. <laughs> Um, imagine. Okay, so the moon is deceit and deception and lies. So that tells me that the story is not accurate. Um, the lover's card reverse, <clears throat> the three of wands and the sun. The sun here tells me that there is something here. There is some sort of information. There's some sort of truth. Um, but the problem here is the lover's card reverse and the three of wands, which tells me if I were to tell you a story and I gave you three things that someone did, only one of them was true. That's that's kind of what this is saying. Is like only one of them, sorry, my elbow is like in the camera. I should probably move. Um, only one of them is, so let me move it here so you guys can be like, where's your elbow in the camera? Um, only one of them is true. Um, and Lover's Card Reverse also makes me feel like Wait a minute. Page of Wands reversed. Seven of Swords reversed. Five of Wands. Oh. There were multiple. Okay. Wow, I didn't expect this. This is going in a weird direction already. <laughs> okay. The victors are who tells the story. Okay, and victors are the ones that write history. So what we've learned recently in a lot of our history books is that the story is told by winners, right? So it's not always super accurate to the lore and to the actual facts and the events that transpired. Because if you win, you get to say whatever you want because they're gone and you won. And that's exactly what I see is happening here, which is that the stories what we're the, the, the conspiracy theory and the stories that we're piecing together are from a winner's pov a winner's point of view there was a battle the five of wands there is some sort of confrontation and battle and the three of wands makes me feel like there were three parties involved at least like look at it like three different races and then you're looking at the lover's card reverse which tells me two of them teamed up against another and so you're looking at 2v1 at some point so there were two races that teamed up against another. And I wouldn't be surprised if it's like those two ended up like coming together and somehow creating humans or 
whatever happened, you can run with that how you want to run with that. I'm just going to tell you what I see, which is that I see a battle. I see three different species. I see two linking together, taking out the one. That's the message I'm seeing right now. Yup. Yup. The Empress is upright, the Queen of Wands, and the Five of Pentacles. So to me... I wonder if they got ostracized and that's why they ended up... Is it? Are they the one that got pushed out of their planet? Is that the story that they got? I don't know. I didn't do a lot of research because I wanted to keep a clean slate here, but... Is it is the theory that they like got kicked out of their planet or something? Because maybe that's what this is saying. Because I'm seeing the Queen of Wands, the Empress, that's someone in power, and there are two people in power next to each other. Look at like two queens next to each other. Well, an Empress and a Queen, but still. And then the Five of Pentacles abuse their power. So it's like I almost see them losing. I see them losing... Someone lost. Is it the Anunnaki that lost or is it another one that lost? I think it's the Anunnaki that lost. Or whatever is being described as the Anunnaki, this species, I feel like they lost. Death is reversed, King of Wands is upright, and Fool reversed. So that makes me feel like... See, this is the feminine energy and this is the masculine energy and they're separate, which is weird. I don't know how that plays into this. Um, were there male only and female only races or something? I'm not sure. Lots of questions here, not a lot of answers, I'm sorry. Um, but I definitely see someone in a panic. I see them losing some sort of war, being ostracized. Perhaps that's where Earth comes into play, I'm not sure. Because the death card, the death of my people, the death of things, the fool reverse, and the king of wands is like, fuck, we got to figure this out and quickly. And I almost see, oh, I see, I see, okay, I don't know what I'm seeing. You guys can tell me if I'm wrong or whatever. I see, uh, th three people two team up kick the other one out the other one seeks refuge and when they seek refuge it's almost like i see them like almost like if it's like someone's falling from the sky they fall into water and i see someone holding out their hand to them in the water being like i'll help you because i'm hearing in my head is like i say hearing but it's a visual whatever i'm not gonna go into you know i don't have an inner dialogue i'm not gonna describe it because every time i say that you guys are like what i'm like it's so complicated but basically what i'm hearing is that don't worry, brother. I got your back. Like, I'll help you, brother. I'll help you, brother, is when I, what I see. It's like when I hear, I help, I'll help you, brother. What the fuck does that mean? This is kind of creeping me out because it's like I'm starting to see flashes in my head of like an old earth. And I'm starting to realize that earth has been inhabited by more than just us. And it's creeping me out. What I'm seeing in my mind's eyes, like earth over. It looks very different. It looks very different. Like I'm seeing like a deserted earth where everything is dry, but there's a lot of water. Like the ground is not inhabited. You can't inhabit the ground. The ground. You can only inhabit the water. It's like people are in the water, but people cannot get on land. And then I'm seeing an earth where there's too much growth like too much like plants and stuff to where it's like that's like it's just constant it's like everywhere and people are in the like, trees and stuff like that and, and forests and then I'm seeing an earth where everything is like really cold it's like the climate is changing on earth and every time the climate massively changes all of the people that inhabit earth have to change as well to adapt to the climate. It's like evolution, but on a grand scale. I don't know what the fuck I'm picking up on, you guys. I have no idea. Like, I don't even really know how much of this is about the Anunnaki. 
Yeah, this is resource farming. I've seen this before in all my readings that they're looking for resources. So I don't I don't think it would be far fetched for the Anunnaki or anyone to be looking for gold, but it's really creeping me out. I just have never really felt this energy that I'm feeling where it's like I see Earth but I don't recognize it and I see other things here. It's weird. like earth is purgatory or something it's weird it's like earth is what i'm seeing in my eyes like if someone got went through a black hole and they got spit out the other side they'd fall into earth like it's weird oh i just heard earth is a last resort That's what the regret and the wheel of fortune is reversed for and the hangman. You no longer work where you currently are. So either like a planet's failing, a galaxy's failing, species is failing, they can't really procreate, whatever the hell is happening that's causing some sort of failure in a race or a species. The last resort is Earth. That's why we haven't had anyone visit us. And when we do, it's not like super intense because no one wants to be here. This is a last resort. Not another reading telling you Earth is ghetto. But no, it's that's what I'm seeing. Earth is a last resort. It's like the last stop. That's what I'm seeing. It's your last stop. Y'all, this reading's a mess. I don't know. I don't think we got anything particular on Anunnaki if you guys have specific questions for the Anunnaki I'll try to do another reading but I'm confused I need help <laughs> excuse me it's the truth two of cups reversed devil card reversed and I pingles I can tell you right now I don't feel religion at all I don't feel religion I don't feel spirituality in the way that we ex examine spirituality I I Yeah, no, there's no religion here. There's no religion at all. It's not there at all. It doesn't exist. Devil card reverse, two of cups reverse, and the knight of pentacles tells me they already know how things go. Everyone already knows how things go. Can I just say something without you guys throwing chairs at me? What's being described to me and shown to me, and you guys are going to get mad, but I, I listen, maybe I'm interpreting wrong and maybe it's a metaphor. I'm seeing humans as like the dumbest race. The most watered down, the most simple, the most easily distracted. Like we just, we're not that interesting to others because we're just like the primitive, primal, basic bitch species. So like for them, they don't, I don't really feel religion from these other things because they already know how everything works. So they don't need to like, believe in something and not be able to see it they experience it they see it they live it they know it i wonder if it has something to do with our eyes because i'm seeing an eye and i'm wondering if it has to do with our our their ability to see things that we can't see you know how we see things in a 3d world like maybe they can see past that in like 4d 5d i don't know but all i can tell you is i can see i see some sort of shape um of a person and they look they look like what like you would see like an ancient Egyptian mythology mythological like type of like Amon Ra whatever like King Tut type of gear on but I think that's a metaphor to get me to realize it's mythology or mythological whatever um but I see them standing there and they have like a they have like a snake staff so I don't know what the hell this is maybe if you guys are familiar with gods or goddesses but Oh, it's like a sphinx. It's like a sphinx almost like. But regardless, I see this person pointing to their eye. Just pointing to their eye. And what I see is like a giant, it's like a cat eye, but it's like it's like cat eye shaped and it's red. And I see them pointing to it. And it's like they point to they point to a human eye and the thumb they go thumbs down. They point to their eye and they just smile. So there's something about their vision and their ability to see things that we can't see. Why is it red? It's red. Oh. 
Oh. Okay, I see two eye colors, red and purple. I don't know what that means. Red and purple. I'm full on channeling. Red and purple. I don't really channel that often, like, straight up like this on my YouTube videos. So, sorry I'm, like, not looking at you guys. I'm looking over here because I'm, like, looking in my mind, not at the camera. And I don't want to break concentration. There are two eye colors. I'm sorry if this is boring and you want me to pull more cards, but I'm like hyper focused on what the fuck this is. Yeah, this is weird. That's all I'm getting. Okay, what I'm seeing is like there are different modes to travel. Like they're, they travel with a different mode, like almost like a different type of vehicle. But what I'm seeing is like, and now this I can't figure out. It's like someone gets on a, what do you call those things? Like they're in the water and they're on a jet ski. It's like they're almost like they're on a jet ski and they're like in the water moving really, 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 really fast. Like the speed of light fast. But I, when I look at them, I can't see it. It's almost like Wonder Woman's Invisible Jet where I can't see it. I don't know what the fuck this means. I think it has to do with the the way that they travel is different than us. And we can't see them because of our, of our eye. Okay. That's what it is. I can't see it. We can't see it. Hmm. I mean, I know that our plane affects everything else. I can see that. I've talked about that in my previous readings. But I'm trying to figure out... I don't know if I necessarily... Mm, okay. Okay. What I'm seeing is like, so I'm, I'm placing a book in their hand that's like, and I'm, it's like Anunnaki and they're going now, which makes me feel like they're now. I don't think the, I don't know if I would say the Anunnaki is real because I don't think that's what they went by. What I'm seeing is this person being like, no, close, but no cigar. Okay, it's like scratching the surface because he's scratching the surface of the book, which makes me think scratching the surface. I don't know what this is. This is weird. You're all going to think I'm crazy. Why do I see snakes? Green snakes everywhere. What the fuck does that mean? Like emerald, like an emerald. Oh, no, it's jade. That's jade. That's a jade. It's like a jade snake. I'm seeing jade, like the the... The stone, Jade. I, what the fuck am I seeing? I don't understand. Just keeps, I, I also say, I see him pointing to Jade and going powerful. I don't know. Is that another stone that they use? I don't know. Gold is great, but I see him pointing to Jade. You, Jade. Points at me and goes Jade. Girl, I'm about to go buy Jade. Uh, let me think. Isn't it expensive as fuck? Conductor. We already know that about the metals and stuff. I'm trying to see if he'll... If I can see anything. I'm like totally channeling. Um... Um, I see him worshiping a woman. I don't know what that means. Okay. Um, I 
I see. I see some kind of beast next to him. I don't know what it is. It honestly kind of freaks me out because it kind of looks like a hellhound almost, but it's not. I think it's more like it's more like a jaguar. Yeah, it's like a jaguar. Mm. What I see is I see what I see is someone saying like there are things what the fuck does this mean? I see him talking about something being hidden in earth. Hidden in earth. I don't know what the fuck that means, dude. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Hidden in earth. What does that mean? Hidden in earth. What's hidden in earth? Girl. I don't know. I'm not getting it. It's something tangible hidden in earth. I wonder if they buried things in the earth, like really deep in the core of the earth that like talk about what happened previously on, on other incarnations of earth or when other life forms existed. I don't know, you guys. This is weird. I think that's really all I'm getting. Let me see if there's anything else. Um, anything else important for us to know? No, I'm just seeing like a wide shot of the earth, like from outside of it, like on a cliff. Oh! Okay, I see. Okay, okay, now I get it. Okay, I see a portal, and out comes multiple people, and he's pointing to me, which makes me think that this is like a, like showing me that, you know how there's that spiritual belief that we get reincarnated and that we've lived multiple lives? What I'm seeing is multiple people and he's pointing to me, which makes me think they're either part of soul family or they're all past lives of mine. I can't really make them out, but he's pointing them out. And he's pointing to one that's really tall. So everything, everything, okay, okay, descendant. Everything to the, so, okay, there's this really tall person in the middle. Okay, and they're re like like looks like what I would consider like a goddess. Okay, blonde hair. It's got like a pink aura around it, and he's like pointing at it, and then he's pointing at all the other things. And to me, this looks like they're all like shadowed out. They're like shadow people, so I can't see what they are. And he's showing me like this makes me think of reincarnation. So it's like what you've always been, and the middle is where you derived from. So he's pointing at this this thing that I would consider a goddess. I don't know, and he's pointing to it going original, like origin. So that to me seems like the origin, I guess, for me. And so I think what this ties into is that all of us stem from some other origin of one of these that I saw in the beginning. Now, there might be more than three, um, but I'm, I'm seeing like him point to like where you came from and like everyone has their own dip, like – this sounds crazy. I'm, I don't even know I'm going to upload this, girl. I'm uploading this on Christmas. I'm sure people watch this after, but still. Merry Christmas. Um, I don't know what I'm seeing here. This is fucking strange as fuck because he's pointing to... Yeah, and he's like, that. you. Everyone's different. You. What the fuck? So I guess we're all derivatives are we all like rejects from like another race or something or leftover energy and, and you know, DNA from old races? I wonder if that's what it is. I can't really make out what the race is that I'm looking at, but it's like very tall, very tall, beautiful woman, like super tall, like mega fucking tall woman, very long, beautiful, blonde hair, 
very, very beautiful. And then when I look to my left, he like points to other ones. One of them has like a green aura. One of them has a purple aura. And they're like look different. Like they have different characteristics and it's like different races. It's weird. I don't know what the fuck I'm seeing. I think I'm going to end it there because I'm confused. And this video is already very long and I'm seeing weird shit and it's freaking me out. Because this doesn't usually happen very often. I don't usually see things like this. Just based off reading tarot, usually I'm like high or drunk or something. So the fact that this is happening when I did this reading is really weird. Hmm. Not good luck tomorrow. What the fuck does that mean? Hmm. Well, that was that. I don't know, you guys. I don't know what this video was, but I just channeled, and I'm done. That was weird. I don't think I got you a single answer. I think all I did was give you questions. Um, That is very rare that I channel like that, and I feel like I can kind of still see him, and it's creeping me out. So I'm going to go because I don't think he's leaving and I don't, I keep, can't see anything but him in my mind's eye. I see him almost like playing with something, just waiting for me to talk to him again. So I don't know what that means. If you want me to try to channel him again, I'll try, but I don't know what the hell I'm seeing. I'm leaving it there. Join my YouTube memberships, $5, $10, $50 here. You get access to the big short time to be waiting for me. I'm freaked out. I'm just going to end it. Bye. Girl, I don't think I can post this. People are going to think I'm fucking crazy.